Hey guys, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. The old question, every year people ask, do I prune my hydrangeas in the fall? And I don't know, right? Let me show you how you know. The question is, is it gonna bloom on old wood or new wood next year? Gee, I don't know. How you could tell is by just looking at the plant. It's so simple. Let me show you. Something that's gonna bloom on old wood will have little buds along here. And there is nothing. All you see is some leaves. So this is gonna bloom on new wood. So you could prune these if you want. I'm gonna keep my hydrangea heads so I'll let them die and then I'll cut them for um, my fall arrangements. Or, you know, you could cut them now if you want them for a vase, but this is not the question. So, since there's no buds, then I could prune it. Now, let's go to something that needs to not be pruned because it's got little buds. Okay, the next hydrangea, can you see these little buds here? These are the new flowers for next year. So that's how you know if it's gonna bloom on old wood. It will have the little buds. So we cannot prune those this year. We prune those right after they're done flowering next year. So that's it. If you see those buds on your hydrangea, do not prune it because those are the new flowers for next year. So that's blooming on old wood. Here we saw no, no, um, ugh. We saw no buds on this, just leaves. This is gonna bloom on new wood. We could prune these. Now, the next question is, do I still wanna prune these in the fall? It depends on your harsh winters. If it's really harsh, I would not prune because it's open and you don't want it to really freeze, even though it's going dormant. If it's just a regular, Midwest, you know, maybe to zone five, it's okay to cut it. But if it's really harsh, I would wait to spring before it comes out of um, dormancy just to protect the plant. So that's the easiest way. Does it have bloom heads on it? And that's how you know. This is Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. Please subscribe.